What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Greatest Vlog in the World. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we're back at it. We're on an epic west side Jeep adventure to tell you how big Madeira is. Well, how big is Madeira? Uh, I don't know which one I'm going for there, but yeah, stay tuned. It's gonna be an exciting video and it's gonna help you figure out how to plan your trips around Madeira, how to plan your itineraries. So let's go. It's coffee time. We had Miminho in the Ribeira Brava. Uh, we had the plan A, this is plan B. So uh, we're gonna have a, a sit down, we're gonna have a coffee, we're gonna make a plan on where we're gonna go and what we're gonna film. And uh, we're gonna try some nice food. They've got the amazing, um, this place has some amazing croissants and uh, also queijadas. I believe a few years ago they won like best queijada in Portugal or something. Uh, Miminho in Ribeira Brava, one of my favorites. Today, we're trying to squeeze in two vlogs in one day of filming. And I'm trying to kind of play around with the idea that this is like tourists trying to plan in too much in their vacation, you know? So I'm giving the plan out to you right now. And this is gonna be a little bit interesting to see if we can actually make it in time. But it's now quarter to 10, which is about right. Uh, we're in Ribera Brava on the west. We're going to the west side. After this, we're gonna go to Cascata dos Anjos. So we're gonna do some off-roading. We're gonna teach Nuno one or two new, new roads. We're gonna go to Paul de Serra. We're gonna go to Porto Muniz, Seychelles and then to be back in Funchal so that we can film uh, in Funchal city before dinner. All right, so it's a bit of an optimistic uh, uh, kind of plan, but I think we can do it. So we're gonna get into it. And for those of you who clicked on this video just to know how big Madeira is, you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video, okay? So then we'll tell you exactly how, how big it is. We're getting the drone in the air. I've got my, uh, my new philosophy on drones is, uh, or secondhand cheap drones that you, that doesn't hurt so much when you lose them, you know? Or outsource people to fly drones for you because then it's not your problem. In this case, we have Andre with us. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for, for taking the risk, Andre. Say hi. Hello. I was expecting a little bit of chat. <laughs> He's like, cheers. I'm going. I'm a little bit nervous actually, because this car needs a little bit of work. And I know for a fact that it rains inside. So we're gonna do this for the vlog. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Nice. It's still dry. It's dry. It's still dry. <laughs> hey, everyone's everyone's dry, right? Yes. Yeah, success. Oh, you're so wet. Oh no. And we came to the most influencer spot in Madeira. Bon dia. It's Monday, favorite day of the week. the uh, Strada Regional, the old street that connects Madalena do Mar to Caleta. Uh, and we're at this little viewpoint that I absolutely love. There's hardly ever anyone here. So it's a nice, quiet little place uh, where we can stop and check out the great views of Madalena do Mar and Caleta. Next, we're gonna head up, we're gonna do some off-roading. I wanna show Nuno one or two spots. For those of you who don't know, Nuno is one of our new drivers that hit the road Madeira, kind of killing three birds with one stone. So we're filming two vlogs and we're gonna be helping Nuno as well to show him some new roads and things like that. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the vlog. I hope it's not uh, too much because we don't know what we're doing here, you know? We're just trying to get all the work done before we all have to go back to our real jobs. So uh, speaking of that, I got my assistant over here. Babes, you're doing a great job, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so she's the, uh, the light bouncer today. <laughs> Mm. 
Temos um problema, é, Vrontia. Desculpa, tá o ar. Tentas puxar a traseira para este lado para tentar alargar a curva primeiro, depois vens outra vez. Se tu conseguires, depois vens outra vez, fazes frente para cá. Deixa-me ver como é que isto está primeiro. Ah. So what's the plan? Ah, just gonna move a little back. Just gonna move a little back. It's a bit slippery. Com monstro. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, the man. Burning the tires before we replace them. The this things we do for the vlog, eh? This, this is still the spare Jeep, oh right? This is the spare Jeep. This is a uh, tangerine liqueur, mandarin liqueur made from our friend here. Maybe we're gonna keep it secret because of course this is the kind of places that we like to stop on our tours. Some of you have already been here and already tried the awesome cake. So yeah, we're making a technical stop for some coffee, some cake. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock and we've just reached up here to Paul de Serre, which we're going to next, which looks amazing because I think we'll be able to film uh, some epic drone stuff at Paul de Serre on the way to Porto Niche. So, so far so good, huh? Huh, Nati? Tá bom, obrigado. <laughs> Successful filming up in Paul de Serre, I believe. I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, drone shots. Seems, uh, seems like Andre is uh, starting, to, starting to understand how we work. So far so good, it's 12.15. We're in Paul de Serre, we're going now towards the west coast. Uh, I wanna show you guys a small little secret um, viewpoint. I'm gonna get into the meat. So yeah, that's it. It's getting a little bit chilly. We're up here in the mountains, 1,400 meters above sea level. So it is a lot colder uh, than down below. We're in Fanal, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got this misty, misty uh, kind of effect that a lot of the photographers like to come to. You never know when it's like this, right? You just, you can only come up here and see. If it's misty, great. If it's not, it's still beautiful. So a great place to come out to. It's uh, 12, 20, 25, and I think we're a little bit late, but we are gonna cut some, uh, we are gonna cut lunch. You know, we're gonna go snacking. So all, all good until now, uh, time-wise. And yeah, in Fanal, you wanna give yourself between 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, 30 to 45 minutes to explore around here. That's of course, if you're going from point to point, if you have more time to spend here, then great, you know, you can have like a picnic lunch and things if you really like want to chill out, if you really need that meditation zen kind of thing, if you're like a corporate banker or something and you need to be far away from everything, then this is probably like the best place to do it. So yeah, we're going to carry on all the way down to Porto Manish. I made a mistake. One mistake. Uh, we, we might have to go back. Back to where? We, uh, we might have to change roads. Ah, let's go, let's go. I only get one photo. What's, come that. on, what's up that? Just that. One so, photo that's it. we finally arrived at Porto Muniz. This down here is Porto Muniz. And uh, it's funny, you know, I've got a little bit of a dilemma here because we run a business that's all about secret spots, running away from the crowds. And this is one of my favorite secret spots and I have to put it out there on the internet. So hopefully no one will steal this from me. Although I don't have this kind of mentality. 
So uh, I don't think anyone will, and if they do, whatever, you know, this is not mine. But anyway, it's a cool little viewpoint overlooking Porto Manish. And I think we're gonna get down to now a little bit more about what this video is about when you're planning your trips. So the first tip I'm gonna give you and the first real idea that you wanna do is you wanna separate the island east and west. So today we're doing the west tour, like you know. Well, we're doing some parts of what the west tour would be like on our mission. But we have split west and east, right? So you'll never, for instance, do Santana and Porto Manish together, uh, unless you're doing the whole north coast, and then you can split north and south. However, we recommend east side and west side and really getting to know all the little bits inside there. It's now almost two o'clock. We're arriving at Porto Manish. I think we're doing pretty good with time. And um, it's that thing, if we were travelers, you know, we'd be spending time looking at things. Instead, we're spending time filming things. So the time is more or less all right. And coming down to Porto Manish, if this was a tour, then we'd probably find a cool place to have lunch down there, have a, explore the, the rock pools and things like that. In the afternoon, trying to avoid the crowds. That's of course what we do at Hit The Road Madeira. So if you are coming here and you don't want to worry about all this stuff, just book a tour. You won't regret it. It's awesome. Everyone's awesome. Nuno is our new guy, he's awesome. He's been in the business for a while. So we're just showing them uh, how we work at Hit The Road, how we're a little bit different because he's been working for other companies, not bashing them, but we've got a certain way of doing things. So uh, yeah, we gotta keep moving, all right? Because we're on a mission today and, uh, and we're still like not even halfway through with the other videos, so we gotta get moving. Right guys, let's get out of here. We're at Seychelles, we hijacked the uh, souvenir shop and uh, I bought myself some wine. I believe they're gonna give me a small discount, I hope, you know, because it's, we're doing some advertising for these guys. And uh, yeah, so we're doing a little section on Madeira wine, of course, for our top 15 tips. Uh, it's 2.20, so we're doing okay. Let's uh, have a little Madeira, let's go get some food and let's head out to, no, Cabo Girão first. So we still have to go to Poncha and Cabo Girão. Oh my God. <laughs> we better get moving. Let's get moving. Hey, we're at Kelao uh, Bakery in San Vicente. Love this place. Um, real local, real good food. So we're gonna sit down, we're gonna have a plate of food to eat and then we're gonna head off. Full stomach, dessert to go. Thank you, uh, Kelao. See you next time. It's 10 to 4. I shouldn't be eating with food in my mouth, but it's amazing. Should it be eating, eating with, with food talking. in my mouth? With food. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. She got, <laughs> she's, she's good. <laughs> you, you're good, you're good, you. So, we had to do a poncha scene for last week's video or the week before or whatever, you know, we were on a mission filming videos. So we are at uh, Tasquinha da Poncha in Serra d'Agua. My, uh, oh, I mean, I, it's hard to, not, to say my favorite poncha. But what I love about this poncha is that they have, uh, I think it's giblets. Is it giblets or giblets? Giblets. Giblets? I've, I've heard people say both ways, giblets or giblets. Let us know in the comments exactly how you say it. Is it giblets is or it giblets? Gif? Is it gif or jif? Like yeah, exactly. Gif, jif. It's, and it's definitely gif, by the way. Of course. Everything's going according to plan. So, uh, cheers. So we're at uh, Cabo Girão now and uh, still in January, at the end of January, it's still quite busy. So there are lots of people in Madeira at the moment, thankfully. And uh, yeah, better to come in the afternoon than in the morning. So even now it's a little bit full, but it's probably nowhere near as full as what it usually is in the morning. So if you are gonna come to Cabo Girão, I recommend to come in the afternoon. 4.30, usually about time to go home, all right? But of course we're working, we're working hard. So yeah, next, Punchal. Please have a seat. All right, for those of you who don't know by now, 
Uh, we are affiliated with Lido Tours Travel Agency, right? These guys do all of our bookings uh, for all of our tour packages, such as the Big Walk. So the Big Walk, if you have a look at the itinerary, uh, is based over 10 days, and that's hiking across Madeira, seeing everything. And even on that package, there's still loads of stuff that we've left out. So if you think that you're gonna come to Madeira and you wanna see everything in two days, please be prepared to make some adjustments to your itinerary. I can tell you so many times how many people have sent me emails and they say, we would like to see this, 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 this in two or three days. Uh, and when I actually have a look at what they've actually uh, asked for, it's like five, six, seven days of touring. Some hikes are full day hikes. So if you're gonna be doing the Peaks hike, 25 fonts, um, you know, Calderon Verde, uh, Ponte de San Lorenzo is a shorter one, but most of the hikes are full day hikes. So don't expect to do a hike and do more stuff unless you're doing sunsets, sunrises on top of that, then you can kind of get away with it. But the story that I really wanted to get behind in this video is that it's not a really good idea to be marking all these things, to see everything, especially if you've never been here before, because there's people who come to Madeira once and then they keep coming over and over and over and over again, looking at different stuff each and every time. Even us at Hit The Road Madeira, uh, we're still working on a couple of new things, including some new tours for you guys. And this is all things that we have to go and research and we have to go and find. Believe it or not, there's places that I have not been to. On Google Maps, it looks that, you know, you can go from Funchal to Pico do Riero in 20 minutes or 25 minutes or something. Don't quote me, I don't know, I'm guessing. But I know for a fact that it takes a little bit longer. And then also, when you're at these places, you also need to put in some time for you to actually explore and look around and some time for improvisation. What happens when you say, oh wow, look at that over there. I wanna go and look inside. And you go and look inside and 10 minutes becomes 30 minutes, becomes 40 minutes. So take your time when you're planning Madeira. Remember to stay close, right? If as soon as you're going from one corner to the other corner, you're gonna be driving forever. It's gonna be tiring, right? And it's also going to um, it's, it's, it's just not gonna work. <laughs> We've also got our Patreon account, which of course, if you don't know, is listed with a whole lot of extra little info and little bonuses from us at Hit The Road Madeira. Resources that are gonna make your stay a little bit better or your move to Madeira a little bit better. All the links are in the description below. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, we're gonna film our third last uh, section. She's ready. Are you ready? No, she, she says no, but she means yes. There we go. <laughs> right? So it's 6.30 and we just finished off at Praia Formaza. Finished off making last, the last video, which was the uh, te top 10, 15 tips for visiting. 15. Top 10, 15. <laughs> this is a great day today. Don't, don't eat with your mouth full and top 10, 15 tips. Anyway, we're all done. It's 6.30, Praia pra Formaza, Praia Formaza. We really were trying to squeeze in a lot today, so I hope it wasn't too much of nothing. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave your comments, tell us what you think, what you want to see more of, uh, and we will get on it soon enough. So yeah, stick around. Things are going to be great. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you later. Andre? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Woo. Ah, I think my feet are still a little bit wet. So let's hope that doesn't become an issue. <laughs>